Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video, and I'm here to give you yet another 2020 movie thoughts for y'all. And I'm gonna give y'all a movie thoughts for a 2020 documentary drama called The Social Dilemma. Now, um, it's crazy because I already had like <laughs> when I like the first like five minutes of this film. I was like, all right, I got a few things I know I want to say in my uh, thoughts once I finish watching this. Um, but a lot of the stuff I wrote down, pretty irrelevant <laughs> to the story, you know, because, wow, honestly, guys, I, I'm shook. I, I'm, I'm really shook at what I just watched. Um, and based on the whole, what this whole film is about, I'm definitely not the expert to, like, really dig deep uh, into, you know, the themes of, and what this movie is talking about. And I guess I'll still mention the notes I had in mind. Um, this was, uh, I thought this was just a documentary, honestly. But this is both, like, a, a film and a documentary at the same time. Which was a pleasant surprise to me at first, but then... Um, it, I, but then, you know, I realized, wow, this, it's definitely more, much more documentary than it is, like, a movie. You know, I, I really kind of figured, like, oh, this is pretty much a whole movie at the same time. And, um, and it really was, like, about the documentary, you know? Like, they're both kind of interlinked, like, the documentary part of this and the film part of this. And they talk about... It's about social networking. It's about social media in general. It's about Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. They they don't really talk about YouTube. They they mention YouTube, but they don't really talk about it. It's mostly about Facebook, you know. And they talk about just how it manipulates us and how it, the how like it reads us, you know. It's it it really it really shook me. It, this this film really absolutely shook me um they it's a 2021 so they talked about the coronavirus you know and it's pretty irrelevant but this there's this guy in this uh, documentary who looks so much like adam uh blumpaid I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce this thing um adam blumpaid or something like that um formerly known as adam from what culture not the current adam from what culture not Adam Wilborn, uh, but, um, yeah, and it's weird, I had a f weird joke, like, before, I'd have, I was thinking, you know, guys, um, the social network was 10 years ago in 2010, now, 10 years later here in 2020, it's The Social Dilemma, two different movies, but, there's, that don't really link to each other, that they have things in common, you know what I mean? Social Network in 2010, Social Dilemma in 2020, 10 years from now in 2030, The Social Project or something like that, I don't know. But, um, I don't, I'm not sure I really know, really, I'll admit this is going a lot better than I thought it would, but they talk about fake news, how, how, you know, people are spying on you and how they know this like I'm not the expert to like really dig deep on all this stuff even like my mom was like talking about she watched this long before I did it and she was like um hey you, you seen that like and I'm like no I haven't and I'm like I did I just did not expect to be so shook honestly by this film like really gets you thinking really makes you a little bit scared for the future and all that and You know, like, I don't, I don't know what to say. It's in a way you gotta watch it for yourself. Like, I don't think I'm the guy who can put this into words. I, I, you know what? There was a point in this movie where I just, a lot of times, you know, when I'm, when I'm watching a movie, I'm like, what am I gonna rate this movie? And honestly, I forgot that I was even thinking about rating this movie because it's just like, wow, I, I don't know what to rate this movie. Okay. Absolutely, it is fascinating. Absolutely, it gets you thinking. 
Absolutely, am I not? At least I don't think I am, like, the right person to talk to us about, like... Like, it, like, it makes you think change needs to happen. People need to be more aware of... I don't know, man, like... I'm not the expert for this, man, but... I'm really shook. This is literally right after I finished watching. Well, I... It's been, like, 20 minutes since I... It's been like 25 minutes since I uh, uh, stopped watching this film, but I don't, I don't know what to say, alright? I, I don't know what to say, it's, you really gotta, I really think you might have to watch for yourself, and then, I, I, I hope this, this movie thoughts is good enough, because this is barely a movie thoughts, it's more like a, I've, I've actually been watching this movie, this awesome, in my opinion, movie, called Unfriended Dark Web a lot lately. Um, I'm not watching it anymore currently, because Netflix took it off. Um, but there's this character who's like, Why do you think that Facebook and Twitter are free? Because you're the product, that's what this is talking about, and... I'm not the expert on this, um... I know what I watched. It's hard to put into words. I highly suggest watching this for yourself. It really gets you thinking. For all, who knows? For all we know, this this movie in itself could be trying to manipulate us, man. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, that's gonna be my thoughts. I I really. I was actually really. It's like. Even the main character of uh, the the f the drama part of this documentary film, well, it's like, dang man, you. I mean, I know people lo love being on their phones, but far out, man, you're on that thing like twenty four seven. Like, that's what I felt like, honestly. That's that's what I felt like, honestly. Um. Uh, but, yeah. I don't, I'm, I don't know what to rate this, man, like. I might actually give it, like, a, it's at least a 7, that's, that's almost like my default scores as of right now, when I, it, it just shook me so much, more than I thought it would, it just really shook me, this movie, man. I think that's why I just don't know what to say for this thoughts, you know, there's people on there doing movie reviews of this film saying, don't watch this, this is BS, don't watch this, you know, stuff like that, and I'm not one of them, I'm saying, definitely watch this, you know, it's, I think, I think this is a very important movie, like, people are talking about this, like, I didn't even really realize people were talking about it until I, you know, searched this movie up on YouTube, you know, like, for people's thoughts, you know, this is on Netflix, guys, so definitely watch it, y'all, and, yeah, that's going to be my thoughts. A um, lot better than I expected this turned out, but at the same time, maybe not as good as I hoped it would be. Better than I expected, though. I guess that's a start, you know. Anyway, I'll be doing more movie thoughts, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, peace.